because you said sex is like emotion and whatever and whatever. Mm. So if you and I would ever have bad sex, would that be an indication that our relationship is done? Um, possibly. Hey everybody, I'm the Naked J. The only person that gets the D is Kaylee, right. also known as Quentin Massina. I'm one of your cast members on Young Famous African. Hi guys, my name is Kaylee Schwak and I am on season one and season two of Young Famous and African. So Kaylee, are you ready to play this game? I think I'm ready. How do you define intimacy? Wow, good question. You're damn right. I think intimacy is not just, you know, making love and, you know, touching each other. I mm. think it's got, it's got to do with how much you trust the person, mm. how that person leads you and how much you can confide in that person. If you don't trust someone, then Katie, how can... come on, this is not Miss South Africa questions. You're different at home. Like, your intimacy is touch. It's like... Cuddling. That's what you define as intimacy. Yes, I'm getting there, baby. Okay. Yeah, I need to be spiritually connected to that person. I need to know I can trust, confide in that person. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, when, uh, before I can get into the so bedroom you with trust that me? person. Well, clearly I do. A scale of one to ten. A strong nine. You need to prove yourself a little bit. Still, more. we've been for together <laughs> for three years. I still need to prove Can't myself. Can't trust everybody. I trust you. Like on a scale of. Like 1 to 10, it's probably 15. Really? Mm. Mm, that's good, babe. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. How have I made it comfortable for you to be naked around me? <laughs> Are you being literal? Both ways. I've always felt that I can with you. Mm. Because you presented yourself as a person that's not judgmental. Even knowing how my other relationships hadn't worked out, you actually made me feel so comfortable. I don't know whether you remember when we started seeing, seeing each other and I said, are you aware that I've, I'm divorced? And you're like, yeah, 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 but are you I aware you that joking. I'm divorced twice? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, and when you're like, no, I'm, I'm aware. I've even told my mom, my mom knows. And I felt, oh, okay. She knows exactly what she's getting herself into, that I might not be fresh out the box. I might need a little bit of work, but that's what made me comfortable. That's why I'm able, up until this day, to lay myself naked when you're around, obviously. Nice answer. Mm. Mm. Next. I'm giving you my emotions here. I You're love like, it. Yeah, next question. Next, like, damn, you, don't Sorry, you like kiss baby. me in between and be like, oh, baby, that was so sick. Yeah, yeah, but emotional. <laughs> <Come on>. <laughs> <laughs> I've been married twice. What happens if I fail again? I don't want to mess up my life. Neither do I want to mess up Kaylee's future as well. Something's got to give. Wow. Do you think my past relationships limit my level of intimacy with you? In the beginning of our relationship, I can say yes. Mm -hmm. I think your past relationships do limit your intimacy with me and mm -hmm. how you show intimacy. I think that you, in Which the beginning of our relationship, in particular? I just think in general, your relationship. <laughs> I think they... <laughs> Which of my past relationships Which makes one? you uncomfortable? Uh, let me just count. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, but seriously, so mm. in the beginning of our relationship, I felt that you, you were very closed off mm -hmm. and it was a big problem for me. I couldn't tear down those walls and mm. it was very um, demotivating and it, it it's, yeah, but I'm glad that you've actually allowed me to tear down those walls mm -hmm. and allowed me into your heart. So now has my D motivated you? Next it's question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's my no, but, but you know, when you have somebody come into your life and you're a mm. single father, remember I was, if, when you break my heart, you break his heart but too. But that, that was your mindset that I'm going to yeah. break your heart. So, you had that mindset. And that's what stopped our relationship from getting to the next level. Because you always had that thing like, I'm, I'm going to break your heart. And 
I'm like all the other women you've dated. Jeez. And I think you finally realize I'm all not. all the other women, you make it sound like it's a lot. Well, is it my turn? <sighs> I love you. Okay. If we only had three minutes for a quickie. Mm. Shit, I need a one minute for that shit. Yeah, we know that. <laughs> <laughs> we can nap the last two minutes. We know that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, okay, uh, if we only had three minutes for a quickie, uh, uh, what position would we do? What position would we do? Mm. We would do that position that you like. Which one? <laughs> you know the one you like. I like a lot of them, baby. You gotta be more specific. Um, no, you know when you tap my shoulder in the middle of the night? Mm. And then you wrap your leg. Okay, yeah. Then you wrap your leg around. Why so shy? Speak. Uh, okay, yeah, you know the position. I don't know what it's Babe, called. Babe, I'm though. asking you a question. I haven't read Kama the Sutra, but I know it's like, yeah. Yeah, well, know? give us a visual. Mm. Well, it would be from the, yeah, it would be from the back. Am I Next the question. Back? <laughs> uh, true or false? <laughs> Great sex requires a connection beyond physical attraction. Um, I do think that... You need more than just physical, yes. But I do believe that in the beginning, it, it is physical. Um, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm probably not gonna give you my number if I'm not physically attracted. Oh shit, so when you saw me, the first time you saw me, what did you think? I loved your dimples, baby. Your dimples were like... You were like 200 meters away. I got them good eyes. <laughs> I've been eating my carrots. <laughs> <laughs> No, I saw your dimples and I, I knew you were checking me out. Like I felt like we had a, almost like a, like a magnetic connection. Like mm. I wanted to get to know you, even though you were so far, I never even heard your voice. I didn't even know who you were mm. or, you know, yeah. and I couldn't, even, like I just felt something between us. And I think it was maybe like the fact that we locked eyes and something was just like, I like this person and I, I need to get to know this person. In your, <laughs> whew, in your opinion, right? Mm -hmm. Is that time of the month off limits? The weirdest <laughs> thing is when it's your time of the month, I get to rest because when it isn't, God <laughs> damn, you have me overworking. So, oh, wow. you know, that couple of days for uh. rest, I, it's, it's what I need. <laughs> It is what my body needs, because I, I am drained. Oh, Lord have mercy. Mm -mm -mm. Today drained me. Said no man ever. I'm 12 years older than you. You're trying to kill yeah, me babe, when you're not on your I'm period. Trying to keep it's you like young. every two seconds. When, <laughs> whenever you. Cardio and even when you put in that, uh, you know, the notification that I'm going on my period tomorrow. So I know, Horio, <laughs> but tonight I'm not sleeping. And I'm like, dear Lord, do not give me a heart attack. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I'm like, this bitch trying to kill me. <laughs> You just yeah. shook my... Wow. Are you still going to therapy? Well, we don't need it yet. The sex is good. Penis is handling that. Okay? How much you going there? <laughs> we had basketball. This is Tristan Thompson's sport. <laughs> when the relationship is feeling good, shit, I even think I have more erections. So that's been our therapy. Is bad <laughs> sex a deal breaker? Sure. That's a very difficult. Very, no, very this is not good. hypothetical. This is like, um, between, if I start giving you bad sex, are you out? Nah. I don't, I think, I think when you get to a certain age, I'm not sure of what age it is, but I think I've reached that certain age now. Mm. Where Your cell by date, where you know you can't get another man because you're old. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's 12 years older than me and he says this. <laughs> uh, anyway, I think sex isn't as important at yeah. some point in your life because you know other things play play a part as well what's important now i think it's this having the same goal having the same vision um reaching the same destination that's more important than just having good sex mm -hmm. and i think even if the sex is bad um which it's not we've never had bad we've sex. never had bad sex mm -hmm. but even if the sex were to you know deteriorate a little bit or you know if you're unable to do certain things because mm. of certain things happening 
then you look at your alternatives, you make it better. Why are you assuming that the person that's going to come with that bad sex is me? Because when you're 12 years that. older than me. No, but come oh, on. Babe. What happens if, I mean, you 30, that's like... Yeah, but I'm still fit. I still go to the gym. I still get the I party. I gym way. too. Yeah, but before me, you will be bad at sex. But mm. with all the answers that you've given me before, does this mean if... Because you said sex is like emotion and whatever and whatever. Mm. So if you and I would ever have bad sex, would that be an indication that our relationship is done? Um, possibly. Um, we wouldn't be having sex. Jeez, so no, we wouldn't be having sex. If our relationship was done, mm. I w if our relationship was done, I wouldn't want to be around you to have sex. I wouldn't want to... I wouldn't, we wouldn't be close. There wouldn't be that closeness between okay. us. So I think it would be an indication. I want you to stop questioning my love for you and second guessing everything that I do. Because everything that I do, you know, I, I do it because there's nothing more in this world for me than you. Hmm, good question. Are you ready? Do I give you all forms of intimacy? Mental, emotional, and spiritual, as much as I give physical intimacy. I think you and I, actually, we more like play tennis with intimacy. <laughs> I give, you give. You, yeah. you get what I mean? It's, it's a back and forth thing. It's, I wouldn't say I sit back and then judge that is she giving me everything, but Maybe on the emotional side, you could be a bit better. You know, you always snap at me. Like Babe, all the time. Babe, you the one that's not emotional. You snap at me all the time. I I'm, literally I'm said very... that to you tonight, and are you no, going to lie like you that? Snap, you snap all the time. And I'm like, how oh, Kaylee, sometimes you can be emotionally empathetic. You know? Sometimes get into my shoes first before you start snapping. That's all I want. In what ways can I help steer this relationship forward? Um... When we have discussions, disagreements, arguments, whatever the case is, the end result, does, it doesn't have to always be a big blow up mm. and it doesn't have to be a passive aggressive, wasting the whole day type of mm -hmm. annoying little argument. Like if we have a disagreement, an argument, a whatever it is, let's talk about it there and then. Mm -hmm. Let's not wait till 10 o'clock tonight after having our arguments at 8 a.m. Mm. to now just hold each other. Let's apologize. I feel like I apologize a lot. Um, I know your way of apologizing isn't words. You, you will never say I'm sorry. You've never said I'm sorry till this day. I can't ah, remember one time Kaylee. you said you Ah, the lies. I'm answering, baby. Mm. I can't remember a time where you said you're sorry. Mm -hmm. Your love language is uh, acts of service. Mm. So even when you're sorry and I know you're sorry, you'll buy me sushi or you'll just like give me a bite of your sandwich or you'll just <laughs> like, you know, you, you, you that's how you do sandwich. <laughs> Yeah, you'll come to me or you'll mm. get into bed and you'll touch my foot and then I know we're cool. Learn to apologize because and I'm not saying every other time, every single time, apologize. I get that that's not you, but sometimes an apology really helps because it makes me feel that you gen genuinely know what you've done, and there's actually a, there's a possibility of, of it not happening again. What you, you do know that a large percentage of the time, men even apologize when the woman is wrong. Actually, why not? I'm not saying that, that, that I'm not saying that that's the case, but there's a lot of times where we've argued and I've just been like, "Oh, babe, you know what? I love you." Mm. And in that case, I felt that you were wrong, and I made it right. So sometimes, just for the peace and the sake of our relationship, it's not going to hurt you to come forth and apologize or come forth and just be okay. All right, okay. we'll try. I want to ask you that, like, what is your response to that? What can I do? to what can I do better or more of or less of to steer our relationship in the right direction? They told you in therapy in season one, all you need to do is just let me lead. And I've got this. And I think you still, 
you know, not letting me lead. Just trust me. I've got this. I've got you. I love you more than anything in this world. Aww. You know? Thank you, baby. I appreciate that. And I love you too. Thank you guys for watching our episode of Defining Intimacy. As you heard, Kaylee will do better. Mm, I hope you guys enjoyed our crazy relationship <laughs> dynamics. <laughs> You can catch me on Instagram, Kaylee underscore Schwab. Naked underscore DJ on Instagram, on Twitter. And do not forget to watch Young, Famous and African on the 19th of May. Don't cheat. Don't start with season two. Never start from the back. All right? That's not what start. you said. <laughs> <laughs> right. oh. You like shaking my head. <laughs> oh. yeah, wow. Well done. That was fun. I know when we met, we actually took time before we, because we were friends. We hung out as friends mm. and it wasn't, we didn't get down on the first night, first week. We, we hung out. Mm. You, you know what I mean? And it's only when, from my side, it's only when I felt we were close enough to engage in coitus. So it wasn't physical I, for you? We, I don't think well, that we would have ever even started the friendship to begin with if we weren't physically attracted to each other. 